Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play the Journeyman Project 3 Legacy of Time. We were questioning the Lama about Buddhism. What is the wheel of life? When a person dies, karma forces the spirit to enter one of the six unenlightened realms. If the person led a life of vice, then he or she will go to a realm that embodies that vice. If the spirit does not achieve nirvana, then it is fated to wander, to be reborn again into another of the six realms. The wheel always turns. Only by learning the virtues that deliver us from the different realms can one escape and reach nirvana. Right. What is Nirvana? Excellent question. Nirvana is a state of mind, a location, a being. It is reached when one has achieved the intellectual perfection of the Buddha. It takes enormous focus, but the reward is eternal peace. We strive every day for Nirvana. Well, that seems simple enough. Goodbye. Now, Initiate, explore the monastery and pay respects to the shrines to begin your new trek for inner peace. Hmm. I don't suppose I could nick any of these books, but that's safe for now. Let's see. It's a little bit annoying that you cannot save while you're still uh, talking to someone. So, anything else you have to say? Looks like there's a crate over here. I suppose I could explore this place, but not just yet. Not just yet. I know I'm supposed to explore this place and all, but... I have not quite exhausted all the possibilities just yet. Well, since the Lama is busy in his box, let's see if we can get him explain some other stuff. Hello, Takpo. Could you come back after my meditations? Oh, and put some snow on your eye. It's starting to swell. <laughs> How considerate of you. Oh well. Well, let's go explore outside. Nothing here but the tree. All right. And how about over here? I can't go there. Let the pilgrim again. That tent seems out of place. If my history serves me, that yellow banner atop the tent bears a Mongolian symbol. 
And if history serves me further, the great horde of Genghis Khan was terrorizing Asia about this time. Well, there goes the neighborhood. The Shrine of the Asuras Realm, to guard the Titans from themselves. Hmm. Well... Hmm. Yeah. Let's see if he wants to talk. I always figured Khan to be taller, thicker, more barbaric. But this man seems to possess a dangerous animal cunning. The kind of cleverness to rip off your arms, to crush you at chess. Hi, uh, you must be Genghis Khan. I'm, I'm a big fan. I've got all your parchments. You're so much more merciful in real life. Hmm. What are you doing here, you audacious fool? Do you think you can just walk to the Great Khan and be granted an audience? Get out! Before I feed you to my horse. Yeah, he's not very talkative. Hmm. That he might listen to the llama. Lama Dalsden, I wanted to tell you that I hit one of your monks earlier. The young one at the bridge with the long staff and the mute tongue. He would answer none of my questions. I'm sure you were provoked into the fight. Oh yes, I was provoked. He refused to help me with my quest. I have not been doing well with my search for the Sida's secrets. Bah! I will waste no more time here answering riddles. And who is this Sita? Still testing me, huh? Well, I remember the tale. Biwa'a was a young monk who studied here over a century ago. Somehow he abused his powers of faith. He died soon after and was denied Nirvana because of his corruption, forcing him onto the Wheel of Life. You and the other monks seem to think that he will return one day. What do you recall of the Wheel of Life? Wheel of Life? Bah! I never did believe in reincarnation. But somehow, I know, the secret of transmutation is involved with the Wheel and the Six Realms of Unenlightenment. I thought... The six shrines around the monastery were connected with the Sida secret. But I couldn't find it. Mm. Tell me about transmutation. It's the power to turn one element into another. Lead into gold. I needed to arm my horde. Rebellions in the east are draining my resources. And my campaign is becoming desperate. And now, my search here has failed. Hmm. Tell me what you know of the Sita's secret. <laughs> Always questioning what I have learned. You are stubborn. The Sita was supposed to have discovered transmutation. I would really ask that. Where are you going? My troops await my presence before we ride against the Muslims in Khwarezm. I must return to the Horde bearing the burden of my first failure. Khan's legacy would live on through his sons, who inherited a vast empire that sprawled across most of Asia and even extended into Europe. Kublai Khan, the last and arguably the greatest of Khans, founded the Wan Dynasty and ruled the World Empire from China until 1294. 
to be seen next in the op in the episode of Crusader Kings 2. If I ever get around to it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Llama. Mm. Well, sort of enlightening, at least. At least he has a purpose for being here. That gruesome-looking fellow above the door is Yama, the Hindu god of the dead. His presence at the doorway could be symbolic. I think he represents the borderline between life and death. Mm -hmm. There are actually many mythological and religious figures that are common to both Hinduism and Buddhism. Siddhartha, the man who became Buddha, was originally a Hindu from India. He infused some of the elements of the Hindu religion when he created Buddhism. Yeah, that that would follow. Him. So that would be this guy. The shrine of the gods' realm, to awaken the vein with the music of the jewel. Mm. Ni, ma, um, pad, pri. Om Ram Me uh. Om Pri No Om Pad Om Ma Oops when did Andy Warhol start designing Tibetan Campbell soup jukeboxes? <laughs> Each of those symbols on the prayer wheel represents a distinct acoustic syllable. Ni. Um. Um. Ni. Padme. Um. Pad. Pri. Ram. Me. Ma. Ni. Right. Om. Ma. Ni. Pod. It appears this ferrous cylindrical instrument has suffered from prolonged exposure to structure stressful oxidizing agents. Get get the oil can. Oil can. Yeah, it's rusted. I'm not I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm not quite done exploring. <laughs> Besides, I kind of wanted to talk to the Lama in the guise of Genghis Khan. As well as that uh, guard and the across the bridge. Before I truly commit to exploring this place and solving the uh, riddle of the Buddha statues that are all over the place. First, talk to the llama again. <laughs> Come.
Khan. I must admit, I am pleasantly shocked to see you. I had thought from your last outburst that you had given up on the test. Thank you for proving me wrong. Tell me more about this test. You seek to sit a secret. You have discovered that it is hidden somewhere here. But only the Siddha, or someone as virtuous, can claim the secret. So you must travel the true path to follow the steps of the Siddha. Mm -hmm. What is a Siddha? There have been only a handful of monks who have found the inner strength to become a Siddha. The last Siddha to grace this monastery lived here a hundred years ago. Old myths say that Siddhas were men of great devotion who could perform miracles of faith. But most people, driven by material wealth, only care to learn about the Siddha's power of transmutation. What is transmutation? You would know it as the power of the Philosopher's Stone, the ability to turn lead into gold or one element into another. Where's the secret hidden? Myths of the last Siddha say that his powers of faith twisted his humility. His pride prevented him from reaching Nirvana upon his death, sending him back on the wheel of life. My master once told me that the Siddha hid a secret somewhere on the grounds of this monastery, so he could retrieve it when he returned. No one knows where. How will the Sita return? If he died before escaping the Wheel of Life, then he is still being reincarnated into the realms of unenlightenment. One day, he may be reborn to the human realm and return here. What is the true path? Ah, that is not an easy question, Khan. The world you know as reality is clouded by illusion, shrouded in deception and vice. Only by walking the true path can one pierce falsehood and achieve the peace needed to escape the realms of the Wheel of Life. The first step on the path should be to meditate at the six shrines and find their purpose. As Buddhists, we need to alleviate the suffering of all, especially those in the unenlightened realms. Tell me about the realms. Which realm do you wish to know about? Ah, yes. Tell me about the gods' realm. The gods are decadent beings. Their vice is selfishness. Blinded by opulence, they ignore the suffering of others until they are consumed by conceit. The symbol of salvation for the gods is music, which disrupts their vain reverie. Mm. Well, let's talk about Tell me about the realms. Which realm do you wish to know about? Tell me about the animal realm. You wish to learn of the animal realm. First, you must answer this. What is the source of all misery? Uh, I'm gonna be enlightened and say ignorance. The answer is ignorance. Congratulations! You are closer to completing the path. The animal realm is a kingdom of ignorance. Although swift and savage, the animals lack intellect to uplift themselves, the ability to learn. Here is the salvation symbol for this realm. The Book of Knowledge. And that's exactly what I wanted from you. Tell me about the realms. Which realm do you wish to know about? And we will answer that next time.